My job as a wound care nurse is I, I teach workshops and I am charged to gather the latest evidence and best practices and bring them back uh, to people in my community, to other clinicians in my community as well as, well as caregivers. Um, I am in all kinds of situations. I'm in patients' homes through home care, um, hospice, which could be their home or facility, uh, smaller hospitals, uh, and long-term care facilities, nursing homes. What evidence means to me is not necessarily that something has been around forever because then you fall into the trap of this is the way we've always done it. Um, evidence to me means it has uh, clinical effectiveness. It's been shown to be effective in uh, real world patients, not a petri dish, not a pig, not a dog, uh, but, but it's been used on actual real people and it shows that it's either worked it's worked, meaning it, you've received a positive outcome or there's been no difference or it failed. And I would need to see that in some type of a repeatable model. Oh, and it has to be compared to something else. You can't just say this worked in this particular uh, set of patients. I want to, is it compared to like a, something as archaic as a wet to dry dressing? Are you comparing it to an advanced modality? Or are you comparing it to something that's very similar? It, the evidence that I see in, in my day-to-day um, reading and, and research is different than in other types of, of medicine. Um, it's, it's really hard to do a randomized controlled trial when you're dealing with wound patients just because they're so diverse. Um, for instance, you may have, you may, you may try to do a, 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 an RCT on diabetics. Well, there, there's such a, a subset of comorbidities within that diabetic population that you're, you're never going to to have a true randomized control trial because th th there's such a disparity even between that certain patient population. As far as standards between col the different collagen products out there and advanced biologics, I hold them to the to the same level of evidence that you bring to my attention. If you tell me that your product is just as effective as this other, you need to tell me why. I, I want to know the, the biochemistry of your product and how that's different. Um, but, but yes, I do hold you to the same level of effectiveness, the same level of evidence, no matter what you're bringing to me. I think that more and more our payer sources, not, not just CMS, but our private payers, uh, the VA, all of them, they're, they're going to demand evidence. It, you know, when, when you, um, when you buy your car, don't you want to know that what they say is true about whatever spiel they're giving you about the car? You want some evidence. Well, you say it gets 25 miles to the gallon. Show me where it proves that. You say, you say your widget can heal this patient. Show me where it proves that. I think that that's only fair for the payers to do that. It's, it's past time, actually. <laughs>